Jacob Panetta, seen here, has been accused of racially taunting Jordan Subban, the brother of PK. <laughs> So Subban, a defenseman for the South Carolina Stingrays, responds by going after Panetta. Subban did so along with his teammates sticking up for him. When the linesman was between us, I said to him, you're only tough once the refs get involved. And I did a tough guy bodybuilder-like gesture towards him. I've made the same bodybuilder gesture to non-racialized players a number of times. I want to reiterate that no racial slurs, noises, or anything of like were said by me during the incident. Panetta, seen here, released a video statement afterward. When Subban saw an error in Jacksonville's official team Twitter account, he wrote, more like Jacob Panetta was too much of a coward to fight me, and as soon as I began to turn my back, he started making monkey gestures at me, so I punched him in the face multiple times, and he turtled like the coward he is. There. Fixed it. One user took a screenshot of the gesture Panetta made to Subban, who is black. PK would write on Twitter, They don't call the East Coast League the jungle because my brother and other black players are monkeys. Hey, Jacob Panetta, you shouldn't be so quick. Delete your Twitter or your Instagram account. You will probably be able to play again. That's what history says. But things are changing now. Not just the hockey world knows your true colors. Your hometown of Belleville knows. Your family and friends know you're a a fraud, wrote PK. With everything that has gone on in the past couple of years in the world, I'll say with all due respect to everyone who has an opinion, this is not a mistake. We all know what's okay and what's not. Even your own teammates wanted to see you get your clock clean. This happens a lot and it never gets exposed in the lower leagues. A hearing took place between the ECHL and the Professional Hockey Players Association. Then, Jacksonville Iceman CEO Andy Kaufman said the team will be releasing Panetta effective immediately. Kaufman said in the statement, to be clear, our core values as an ownership group include zero tolerance for racism or any other forms of hate against any group. We apologize to anyone who was offended and look forward to beginning the process of healing together as one. The Stingrays team president said in a statement he was appalled by the incident. Our organization stands in support of our friend and teammate Jordan as well as other players who continue to deal with racism and discrimination. This behavior is unacceptable and has to stop. Unfortunately, these incidents continue to happen in such a historic, prestigious, and honestly wonderful sport. One day prior to Panetta's alleged racial gesture, the AHL suspended San Jose Barracuda forward Christoph Frabic for 30 games after he made a racist gesture toward Boko Imama of the Tucson Roadrunners in a January 12th game. Harabek, 22, imitated the movements of a monkey in a taunt that targeted Imama, who is black. Both incidents continue a trend of racist taunts in pro hockey. In 2021, Andre Deniskin of the Ukrainian Hockey League pantomime peeling and eating a banana toward Jalen Smerick, who is black. Deniskin was suspended 13 games. Earlier in the week, the Boston Bruins retired the number 22 jersey of 86-year-old Willie O'Ree, the first black player to appear in an NHL game well known for trying to combat racism that still exists in the league.